This is the Hindenburg airship moments after it caught fire. It was a significant moment in the history of flight, as many believe that this fiery accident sounded the death knell of the commercial airship. The Hindenburg was a German Zeppelin that was destroyed while landing at Lakehurst Naval Air Station in New Jersey on May the 6th, 1937. 36 people, or about a third of the people on board, perished in the fireball. It's the greatest of miracles that anyone came out of the disaster alive. Airships first took to the skies around 1900. Count von Zeppelin is regarded as the father of the airship, and by the outbreak of World War I, his Zeppelins could achieve 136 kilometers an hour, reach a height of 4,200 meters, and carry 2,000 kilograms of payload. Very quickly, the military saw merit in the Zeppelin. It was the first viable method for navies to look beyond the horizon. The naval fleet that had the advantage of peering over the horizon could evaluate an opponent's strength and maneuver itself into the most favorable position before the battle began. The United States Navy was also inspired and went on to build the Shenandoah, Akron and the Macon. The airships served the Navy well, but their time was running out as advancements in aircraft were gathering pace. Unfortunately, many regarded the airship as ineffective. Perhaps newspaper images depicting wrecks and fireballs, such as these of the Shenandoah, fueled such skepticism. But navies used these lighter-than-air giants with a reasonable degree of success. However, the moment planes became more reliable, the airship's day as a military instrument were numbered, as they were easy targets for the smaller, faster and more maneuverable aircraft. As transatlantic ferries, airships such as the Hindenburg were a very real competitor to the ocean liner. Airships were much faster than ships. However, the Hindenburg disaster received much media attention, and as air travel was in its infancy, the horrific images burned negatively into many people's minds. Unfortunately, the Hindenburg disaster never needed to have occurred, and airships may have had a longer commercial lifespan if, like modern airships, it had used helium as its lighter-than-air gas instead of hydrogen. The Hindenburg was originally intended to be filled with non-flammable helium, but a United States military embargo on helium led the Germans to modify the design of the ship to use highly flammable hydrogen as the lift gas. The Germans had experience with hydrogen, and no hydrogen-related fire accidents had occurred on civilian zeppelins. So this switch from helium did not cause alarm. Such was their confidence in their ability to handle hydrogen that a smoking room was present on the Hindenburg. It was pressurized to keep the hydrogen out. This is the Deutsche Zeppelin Reederei GmbH and was developed by a descendant of the original Zeppelin company, which built the Hindenburg. The limited run of Berlin flights starts at Tempelhof Airport itself a masterwork of Third Reich architecture dating back to the old Zeppelin's heyday. Only 12 passengers fit in the new Zeppelin, a fraction of the number that could ride in the original. Surprisingly, many of today's passengers are old enough to remember the glamour of the old Zeppelin and are fulfilling long-held dreams to ride in one. It has never been conclusively proven as to why the Hindenburg suddenly burst into flames. Many theories have been put forward. The Hindenburg is still the largest aircraft ever built. It was longer than three Boeing 747s placed end to end. It had cabins for 50 passengers and a crew of 61. The demise of this mammoth was also the demise of the airship as a commercial aircraft, and it's doubtful that we will ever see airships again ruling the skies as they once did.